We hope that a collection of activities you've pursued outside the classroom says something meaningful about your interests, your values, and your contributions to your community. Admissions officers are interested in what you do outside the classroom, but we don't use a rubric that assigns a certain value for being an athlete, say, or performing the lead in the school musical. You should pursue the activities that bring you the most joy and that resonate most powerfully with your interests. You should not pursue an activity you don't enjoy just because you think it might help you get into college. If that activity isn't meaningful to you, including it in your application will only add clutter and it might make it more challenging for the admissions officer to learn who you really are. We know that some high school students have found a single activity that they are passionate about, while others love engaging with lots of different activities and developing many different skills. There's no one right answer, nor is there a right list of activities, and you don't need to fill in every line on the activities section of the application to be admitted. More isn't necessarily better. We will place more weight on the contributions you've made to your activities than just your simple participation in them or particular awards that you may have won. So as you go through high school, try to identify the activities where you will have the greatest impact and focus your energies on those. This should make you a more compelling college applicant, but more importantly, a happier high school student. If you have spent a significant amount of time working, either during the school year or the summer, be sure to include it in your activities list. And if you devote a significant amount of time caring for family members, include that too. Context is important when we are reading your activities list. So be sure to tell us if extenuating circumstances have limited your involvement. We won't know something if you don't tell us.